What's up guys? Hope you're all doing well. In today's video, we're going to discuss the top 10 amazing treasures found by complete accident. Stay tuned to find out. Sunken Treasure Michael Demar, a 20-year-old diver, was new to treasure hunting when he metal detectored the ocean 30 miles west of Key West, Florida in 2008. He was searching the sandy ocean floor for 18 feet of water when his metal detectors started ringing. On previous dives, this always meant that he had found metal trash, such as a can of beer, and that was what he expected to find again this time. And after sifting through about 3 feet of sand, he found a drinking vessel. Yes, but not a can of beer. It was a solid gold chalice, engraved with lions, castles, and family crests and other decorations. The goblet is believed to have come from the Santa Margarita, which sank in the storm of the Florida Keys in 1622. Millions of dollars worth of treasure have been recovered from the shipwreck since it was discovered in 1980, but the goblet is the most valuable item, recovered in decades. Centuries of storm activity had moved it and other debris a considerable distance from the wreck site, which is why it remained unknown until the Mars swam pass. In 2015, the goblet is sold at auctions for $413,000. Hand of Gold Kevin Hillier, an Australian man who lived on a bus on a campsite with his wife and four children in 1980, was on tour in Australia. At first, it was a fun road trip adventure, but his situations became dire when Kevin hurt his back and couldn't work. As he was recovering from the injury, his doctor told him to start detecting metals, seeing the exercise would strengthen his back. Hillier was doing just that in Kingover State Forest in southeastern Australia in September 1980, when his metal detector started ringing. Eventually, he figured it all out. It was a hand-shaped nugget that weighed nearly 60 pounds. 40 years later, the Hand of Faith nugget remains the largest gold nugget ever found by a metal detector and the largest nugget left intact today. The Hilliers sold Hand of Faith at the Golden Nugget Casino in Las Vegas for $1 million. They used the money to buy a house in Perth, a new car, a trip to Holland, and other goodies. Lucky was with him. In 2019, a man took his dog Lucky for a walk somewhere outside the town of Bendigo, about two hours north of Melbourne, Australia. His two daughters were with him and it's a good thing they did. I actually walked past him, she later told advertiser Bendigo, but my daughter practically kicked him as he walked. Then she says, Dad, is that gold? Unable to find a jeweler, they took the fist-sized piece to a grocery store to weigh it and it was over 20 ounces. Since then, experts have confirmed the Nuggets' authenticity, digging for gold, silver, and jewels. In July 2009, Terry Herbert, 54, a Briton living near the town of Hammerwich, Staffordshire, England, was unemployed. So he had plenty of time to pursue his metal detection's hobby, using a second-hand detector that he bought in a trunk sale for around $2.5. He asked a farmer he knew, Fred Johnson, if he could look for treasure in Johnson's freshly plowed field. Johnson reluctantly agreed on the conditions that Herbert looked for a wrench that Johnson believed he had lost somewhere on the field. Herbert never found Johnson's wrench, but after walking around 80 yards on the field, he received a signal and began digging. He had to dig about 12 feet before he found the first item, a gold brooch. He went on and after 5 days of excavations, he found 244 gold objects, most of them related to the army. He and Johnson reported the discovery to the government, which obtained permissions from Johnson to dig further in the area. By the time the excavation was completed, more than 3,500 objects in gold, silver, and jewelry dating back to the 6th and 7th century has been recovered from the field. To date, the Staffordshire Hoard remains the largest collection of Anglo-Saxon gold and silver objects ever discovered. The British government valued the discovery at £3.285 million, or approximately $4.4 million US dollar. British law gives museums the right to acquire found treasures, but only if they pay the prospectors a cash reward equal to the estimated value of the treasure. Pounds of coins If Terry Herbert thought he had problem with Fred Johnson, there were nothing compared to the problems that Red Meat and Richard Mouse, two treasure hunters who began looking for coins on the British island of Jersey in the 1980s, had with their farmer, which allowed them to search his field only one day a year, right after harvesting the crops. But Meat and Mouse were persistent. They had heard stories of ancient coins discovered in the earth and suspected that more were found. They came back one day a year for over 30 years and never found much until 2012. That year, they unearthed one coin, then another, and then another. Digging deeper, they found a mess of molten coins 6 feet long, 8 inches thick and weighing around 1,500 pounds. The coins are of Celtic origin and are believed to have been buried around 50 BC probably to protect them from Roman invaders. A lucky find. 
it's always nice to stumble upon a $5 bill on the floor or find a coupon for a free drink at your favorite bar at the bottom of your drawer. These people were really lucky and found much more valuable items, whether it's with your metal detector or you have found on the beach. Read on to discover these valuables that people have accidentally found. Also, read these 10 incidents that changed history. High score. On Mother's Day 2019, Scott Amos of Reno, Nevada was visiting his childhood home in Humboldt County, California to finally get his things out of his mother's attic. While examining the boxes, he came across a JC Penny shopping bag. Inside was a Nintendo video game called Kid Icarus that Amos didn't even remember having. Judging from the December 1988 receipt, it was most likely a Christmas present that had never been wrapped. It hadn't been even opened, which makes this lucky find a big deal. All's will that ends will. Jumbers Tiachot had no luck. The 55-year-old Thai fisherman made only about 400 baht a day and had very little money to his name. Then one day in early 2019, Humerus was walking on the beach and found a yellow lump of something in the sand. He thought the waxy substance might be ambergris. Made in belly of a sperm whale, a small amount is enough to make a fragrance last longer. This makes this floating gold highly desirable in the perfume industry. But since ambergris is so rare, Jumrus was under no illusions. He took chips to test them, but the tests were inconclusive. Not knowing what to do next, Jumrus put the bundle back to his jet and returned to his life. Almost a year passed. Jumrus needed to know the truth, so he contacted the provincial governor who brought an expert to the fisherman's house. Result, the substance was determined to be at least 80% ambergris with an estimated value of $320,000. On the money, Paul Reinhardt is a light engineer from West Yorkshire, England. In his spare time, he is a detector, someone who searches for treasure with a metal detector. But it wasn't the treasure he was looking for in November 2019. Reinhardt was on vacations in Ballycastle, Northern Ireland with his friend Michael Gwen, asking for help finding a lost wedding band in a field. After an hour and a half of searching Reinhardt's high-end metal detector, they found only a horseshoe and a nickel, still no ring. Then Reinhardt's detector started ringing and he started digging. About a foot underground, he pulled out the first coin, then another, and then another. There are millions, he shouted to Gwyn. In total, they extracted 84 gold coins from the ground. Some of them date back to the 1500s, including a rare King Henry VIII coin worth over $6,000. Their unburied treasure was taken to the Ulster Museum in Belfast, where it is estimated to be worth £100,000. With that being said, it's time to end today's video. Press the like button and subscribe to our channel for more interesting stuff. Peace out.